This is the modified Dadent hive that I'm building. It's uh, deeper and a little bit wider than a Langstroth hive, the body. You can see it's about 18 and uh, a little over 18 and a half, just about 18 and a half wide. And the depth is, I think, around 11, 11 and a quarter. Um, or you ask, where do I get boards that are that wide? Well, I went to a local sawmill and got some basswood. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm going to paint them for sure. Um, I've used some basswood before to make beehives. I just made the box joints corners there on my with the homemade jig on my table saw. You can see that these are homemade frames as well, also made out of basswood. The, at the sawmill, I could get some 3 8 stock here that I could cut down to be able to make these pieces and um, some little wider pieces here to make the top. Um, and so it uh, uh, works out pretty good. A lot of sawing and stuff, but it works. Um, I'll hold a regular Langstroth deep soup frame down here so you can kind of see the difference. You can see that they're the, the same length, but uh, the modified date ends uh, couple inches deeper there gives you some more they felt that they wintered better on these and they uh, would uh, uh, the queen could uh, they could take advantage of maybe just having one deep box perhaps but uh, if you read uh, a book by uh, Frank Pellet he says you gotta in Iowa at least ought to have two of these deep boxes and you'll have a super hive and you get about uh, half again as much honey off of a hive and um, it's a lot less uh, it's claim that uh, at least Frank Pellet did that uh, if you manage these properly these that there won't be you won't be going through cutting out queen cells like you do in the regular Longstreth hives um, so I'm giving it a try how do I space these frames I use a a nail a five penny um, just get it out of there. A five penny galvanized nail you can see. And I just drive it in with about, uh, just like it's a little over a quarter of an inch there. Um, these are supposed to be one and a half inches in uh, uh, sp spacing apart. Where do you get the foundation? Well, Daydance in Hamilton, Illinois still makes the wired foundation. It comes that way. Now I, I put a hole in that. It wasn't a hole in it when I got it. Um, but they make this foundation and uh, I also found a place that supposedly is making me some of these deep frames and that's uh, Rossman uh, Bee Supply in uh, Georgia. Um, GABs.com would be uh, where you want to go to get those. I haven't received them yet but we'll see what they're like. I have in the works a uh, horizontal hive that will be about twice this width with legs on it. And the... Uh, uh, one of these things, if it's a double brood chamber, to lift off would be quite heavy. And so what we're trying to do is, uh, uh, thinking I'm getting older here and working on bees, um, we're going to make it a horizontal hive. Yes, it'll be the same depth here. The lid will have three pieces. Um, uh, as well, uh, what it will allow you to do is to put your regular Langstra supers on the top with a, a side here and a side over here. Uh, side over here and a side over here, you know, kind of. I guess I should show that by putting two of these together, but I think you get the picture. Um, Robin, uh, a gentleman in England, I think it's Robin Dartington, um, de designed a similar hive that I'm kind of using as a model to make mine. Um, I'm hoping that uh, then you won't be lifting these heavy things. If you want to move them, I'll just uh, arrange and build a two-wheel cart that will be able to move the hives real easily um, with a little frame under it to just pop right underneath of it. What Where these will be is they'll, on that horizontal hive that I'm building, um, it's going to have legs on it. So it's going to put it up about this high, about too high, probably about this high. Um, so that it'll be so nice to be able to just uh, reach across there and work on the bees and um, so we'll see how it goes. I also built my own uh, wiring device for these big frames. Uh, just use some stock here. I don't know how thick that is, but you can see that it's uh, not real 
thick, maybe an eighth of, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch thick. It's about three quarters of an inch wide stock that you can buy like at Tractor Supply or someplace like that. You bend it up and um, these are old wooden sp spools that we do and um, basically the way this works is you uh, get a frame out here and we slide this in. She fits down in there. So I've got my thing in. Then I sp spread my wires. They go through one, two, and three. So it means I have to modify my wiring device a little bit to the hot wire device to get it to melt. But that's no problem. I just have two contacts on it. And uh, I put a little nail up here. And uh, maybe I'll show you in the next video how to do that. Um, but I've got to get this. this uh, I'll do that in a little bit here.